strange, stupid stunts I've ever heard of. Julie, I expected more from you at least. Uh, she had nothing to do with it. It was my idea. No, I should have stopped you. Cole says 126 BP is 88 over 64. Your systems are strained. I mean, how much more of this do you think your body can stand? Oh, another 80 years or so, I hope. Not at this rate. You've undone a lot of the progress we've made. And you all should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, we really need to come up with something for Jax that's new. Fresh. Fresh. Something borrowed, something blue. I don't think I like the sound of this. Will you shush? We are brainstorming here like the old days about getting Jax up and running. Come on. You know what I like? I like those tiny little makeups that can fit in your purse or in your car. That would be good. Well, isn't that just so darn clever? Mm, now Eve's got a point, and if she put a hat on, she could cover it up. Look, look at these little purses. You couldn't get a tissue in here. Mm -hmm. You're taking this very seriously. Okay, I will make a note of it. And I would love it if lipsticks would match the outside case to the inside color. I mean, why do we have to open up every tube just to figure out what we're looking for? Well, how much time does that really take? What, 30 seconds? Yes. And multiply that out over a year, and you've got... 10,950 divided by 60, that leaves 182.5 minutes. Lose the five, and that gives you roughly three billable hours of my time at $600. Hmm. Yes, Lucy, that's a good waste of precious time and money over lipstick. That was impressive. Okay, well, let me just point out that we have been thinking of that little idea of matching tube thingies at Jack's for, oh, at least a year now. What I want is something bigger and more exciting. I want a whole new product line. Think, think. Think we could call it Jack's Attacks? Oh. <laughs> oh come over here, you. You silly, silly, silly. You know what? I think oh. we're going to call it Silly Serena. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Serena, wait a minute. Pal, you're onto something. Serena's a beautiful name. It means tranquility and serenity. And, well, the name would sell it, don't you see? Think, think, think of it. People will be getting good things from buying it. It's perfect. Serena, it is. I was joking. Well, I'm not joking. I think it's great. Pal, I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you're not. Hey, come on. No one would know. It would just be us. No one. Kevin, come on. Back me up here. Well, I don't know. Serena's a pretty catchy name. A name like that could tap into the collective unconscious. Please, Daddy? Well, maybe the working title. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hi hey there. It's birthday cake time. <gasps> Ooh, Serena, you want to help me with the cake? Yeah, okay. Me? Come okay. on. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I love this chocolate. Oh, a girl after my own heart. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Um, we're closed for a private party. No problem. Is that Kevin Collins? Yes. I'll be out of here in two seconds, I promise. All right. Dr. Collins? Think on it. Yeah. I have to tell you. I just finished General Homicide, and I hated it. Oh. Well, book's not for everyone. I don't care if you made me a blonde woman, I still recognize myself. And what's worse, all my friends recognize me. You have some nerve. I should sue. I really should. I don't know you from Adam. Oh, stuff it. Not anymore. <laughs> the power of the human ego amazes me. Oh, me too. Hey, everybody, we really got to do this before we uh, burn the place down, OK? Oh, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's beautiful. All right. OK, I've made my wish. I need all of you to help me blow out the candles. OK. OK, you ready, Serena? One, two, three. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Birthday. Thank you. You have made it so wonderful. Mm. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grace. Oh, hi. Look who's here. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late, but it looks like you're having a fabulous party. Yeah, the best. <clears throat> well, I'll just add this to the pot. Thank you. Glad you could make it. Yeah, me too. 
What worries me is the bradycardia. I don't understand why his heart slowed down again. Yeah, well, I can kick myself for letting him get out of here. No one lets Frank do anything. Well, then I should have shot him full of sedative and tied him to the bed. He's sleeping. Okay, guys. What happened to his amazing recovery? He's relapsing just as quickly as he recovered. No, no. We'll figure out what is going on and we'll stabilize him for good. And then we'll run some tests and figure out what the hell is causing this. A little sugar and cholesterol will make the whole world brighter. Did I say anything was wrong? Well, forgive my powers of discernment. How's your wrist? Oh, it's terrible. You want to see the scars? Oh, certainly not. Uh, it's a shame because I wanted to see how far I could push this gratitude for saving your life. Not very, but I'm sure that won't keep you from trying. <laughs> Ellen, you know me better than I thought. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, of course. Kevin. <laughs> Oh, my gosh, you're speaking to me. Is that a good thing? Look, I, I wanted to congratulate you on your book. Well, thank you. But did you like it? As a matter of fact, I did. Well, I, I guess she doesn't mind being portrayed as a ruthless efficiency expert. That character certainly couldn't have been me. I mean, she had a heart underneath it all. <laughs> hey, Lucy, can I talk to you for a second over here? A minute. Here? Excuse me, aren't you being a little pushy? Oh, God. You're not serious about this whole Serena line thing, are you? I certainly am. I'm not about to push her back in the limelight after everything she's been through. Nobody will ever know she's the Serena. N-O. What are you going to do? You're going to tell your daughter with those big, beautiful blue eyes and tell her, no, I'm sorry, I'm breaking a promise I made to no, you. No, no, I didn't promise her. I did not promise. Well, she did. I did not. Did too. Lucy, I didn't you promise. You did not promise. Oh, okay. I think it's it. time to say good night. Yeah, well, we're not done here. No, we are for now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh. Right. Well, all right, little scary spice. I gotta go. Hey, would you like to come to our house and have a little hot chocolate? I would really love to. But, well, I have an early day tomorrow, and so, um, I can't. But, rain check? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Bye. Bye. She rocks. I wanted to say good night. Have a good week. Have fun in San Diego. I'll try. I'd wish you luck, but I'm sure you won't need it. You'll blow them away. Really? Hmm? I'm actually starting to feel a little nervous. You? Come on, Ellen. I mean, they're going to make you an offer, and I'm sure you'll jump at it. How is it that you know that and I don't? Well, because they have an excellent ER facility, and you're way too competitive not to stick it to GH. That's why. In your opinion, well, I meant that as a compliment. This could be a big step up for you, Ellen. I didn't know that I needed one. Good night. I got into her. Sour grapes. my body for a joy ride. A steak. Do you want me to call a doctor? Oh, or... I've seen them all. Already. You know, I don't like that Dublin guy. He's weird. He's got the personality of a doorknob, but he's a great doctor. He gives me the creeps. Like, while I was hiding in the closet, I saw him inject something in your IV. So he's my doctor. No, he was really stressed out. Like, he didn't want anybody to see him. Don't doctors usually get the nurses to do their grunt work for them? That is weird. Look how low the platelet count is now. It just doesn't track. What's going on here? I ordered more blood work for Frank. You've got a lot of nerve. I don't need nerve. He is my brother. And I'm the doctor on this case, and I'll not be second-guessed by a bunch of interns. Dad, what is the harm of running another test? This is not medicine by democracy. I am in charge here. Is that clear? I will do whatever I feel is reasonable to help him. Because of your personal relationship, you're unable to maintain professional objectivity. I resent that. And I'm not interested in your resentments. You will not compromise the health of my patient. Is that very clear? Crystal. Good.
We're not related. I was switched to Earth. Who the hell does he think he is? I don't care. But nobody is going to stop me from figuring out what is wrong with my brother. 